y'all are not even ready for the words that are about to come out of my mouth right now. So scientists in Norway recently conducted a genetic analysis that suggests that the anus may have evolved from a hole originally used to release sperm. That was not a sentence I thought I was going to say today. There have been several theories as to why and how the anus evolved. We know from studying early animals that the mouth and gut evolved before for the anus. And we know this because some creatures today still have that anatomy, like jellyfish. They don't have an anus, so they release their ways through the same opening they use to eat. This led many scientists to believe that the mouth may have split in two to form the anus. But these Norwegian researchers found that wasn't the case at all. Turns out the key genes responsible for developing the mouth are very different from the genes that develop your downstairs region, or your hindgut suggesting the anus came from somewhere else entirely. And now the team believes they have found the answer in these worms. This worm has a mouth and a gut, but no butt. What it does have though is another opening called a male gonopore that releases sperm. And they found that the key genes responsible for developing the hindgut in animals with anuses are also responsible for developing the gonopore in other animals, suggesting an evolutionary link. So based on this genetic analysis, the team hypothesized that the hole for releasing sperm fused with the gut later on to form the anus. This kind of repurposing happens a lot in evolution. Existing structures often get adopted for new functions instead of creating entirely new ones. Today, we all learned. If you like stories like this and science for sharing, then give us a follow everywhere at Tail Science.